I was stunned that they actually pulled the trigger and made this deal. I didn't think they would do it. Well, I thought, and, 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 and what was the surprising part? Uh, well, I would say that they gave up Robert Williams, who was probably the biggest part of it. But to me, it's the Rob Williams and not, I mean, the fact they've been trying to trade Brogdon all offseason. That's not a surprise. Exactly. And, uh, you know, in hindsight, I shouldn't have been surprised that they traded first round picks because Brad Stevens hardly uses first round picks. So that's not surprising. No, no. Rob Williams is stunning to yeah. me that they traded Rob Williams. Yeah, and the, and the the load up nature of it, I guess, is how I would you know like when you because you mentioned this at the end of last week, it's the kind of move where you say F it, we're loading up, just F it, we're gonna we're gonna take a shot, and they did it, and like I heard it and went holy crap wow, like that is a that's a wow kind of move, and I, I look I love it. I absolutely love it. I think he's a great fit for the way they want to play. Good makeup, good character, competitive guy, uh, all of the above, and he wants a piece of the bucks, which is another benefit to the whole thing. How do you know that? I just think that the fact that he wanted to come here says says that. Well, I mean, it would stand to reason. It's just, has he said anything? Have you heard anything? Well, I'm like... going by the Wojnowski tweets, where, uh, tweets rather, where he said that uh, the Celtics were at the top of Drew Holiday's list. And I heard that and said he wants Milwaukee. Yeah, he wanted to stay in the East and get some. Well, I mean, he could do that in Miami too. I mean, yeah. he could do that. Yeah, elsewhere. well, that's true. But... Yeah, that's true. But I, you know, I think a lot of people look at the Celtics and say they got Porzingis and now they're the biggest threat, and they were the favorites before Lillard went to the Bucks, and now I think the Celtics are the favorites again. I, you know, I still like the combo of Lillard and Giannis. But, man, what the Celtics have as a top five or six is the best in the league. I didn't think they had it in them to do it. I really didn't. When I heard about it, too, I was like, well, this is just, like, more scuttlebutt. Like, they don't have the stones to pull something like this off. And I also had some trepidation with it because you heard that if they weren't to do it, Derek White was going to be involved, and I think he was their best defensive player last year. I didn't want to lose him. And so it felt to me, it's like, what are they doing this for? It's like the keeping up with the Joneses type of thing. Like, you know, your neighbor gets a new car, so we got to get a new car. The Bucks did something. We got to do something. But if you could pull it off for picks, which I don't give a rat's ass about in the future, and some broken goods, and that's what I look at Brogdon and even Robert Williams as, get it done. And that's what it did. That's what got it done. I couldn't believe it. So I love it. Yeah, Jimmy? It, it helps that one, Brad Stevens has wanted Holiday for many, many years. And that Portland wanted to stick it to Miami once again because of the Lillard fallout in that situation. That's a key point uh, is Stevens has a good relationship with the Portland general manager and Portland wanted to stick it right up Miami's backside. Good point. Good point. The Portland Miami thing was bad. I mean, Miami did get absolutely porked in the last week. 100%. Lillard goes to the Bucks, and, and Holiday ends up with the Celtics. They overplayed their hands with the Blazers and pissed off that GM. <laughs> Who, as you know, as we detailed on Friday when reading that story, apparently not to be trifled with. He's a he's a vindictive little dude there. Yeah. I say little. I don't know what he looks like or who he is. But this Cronin guy. Six. This Cronin guy. Don't cross him. He'll he'll take he'll take you right out. But uh, so either way, maybe that played into your favor. Either way, to me, the stunning part's Rob Williams. Giving up Brogdon's nothing. They tried to trade him already. So like that's not surprising. Uh, and the first round picks, one's a. Golden State pick next year. That's going to be 27. Right. They still have their own pick. Celtics do. Okay. So next year. And the Celtics have been trading out of their first round picks. So, you know, I I, I wasn't, I, I didn't portray that properly last week. I wasn't fully, I just didn't, wasn't paying attention, I guess, that they were trading down out of the first round and taking second round picks. And so like uh, Stevens isn't all that horned up for first round picks. Not like the old guy. So what's Brogdon and two first round picks? <laughs> Nothing. Big deal. Man, that's not surprising at all. Rob Williams, that's different. Rob Williams is one of these, you know, these overhyped young Celtics players. The Time Lord, like all that stuff, all the hype around that guy. And I happen to buy some of it. Like, I think he is. I think when he is on the floor, he is a game changer defensively. He is when he's engaged. As good as Marcus Smart is defensively, as good as Drew Holiday is defensively, those guys are not game changers. They're not. They just they play good defense. Holiday's a good on ball defender. Marcus Smart is a good loose ball player. Like they'll hit the deck. Like, but they don't change the game. Defenses don't change their sets because Drew Holiday or Marcus Smart's on the floor. They change what they do when Rob Williams is out there. Definitely. And so I bought into that. And he's young and he has a good contract. And he's one of these. You know, like hyped green team. You know, everyone loves the guy. 
And so I never thought they'd get rid of Rob Williams. I mean, the, the trade to me was Brogdon, Horford, and two first-round picks. Horford. Horford's the guy. He's 30-something years old. He's old, but he's a better offensive player than Robert Williams is. Like, well, don't talk. Are people going to talk themselves into now you'd rather have uh, Al Horford than Rob Williams? That's, that's a yes. fact. Well, that, no, I'm not, of course, offensively, Jim. Then you play both ends. So uh, yeah, overall, but Robert, but Robert Williams wasn't the same defensively under Joe Mazzulla that he was under Ime Adoka. He regressed. This is true. Fair. If and I'm, I have to wonder too about Rob Williams if there's an effort issue with him and a health issue that we don't know about it. Like when they traded Perk years ago, there was a massive health issue with Perk at the time. There's all sorts of issues with Rob Williams. Yeah, I don't think that's why they did it. There's all sorts of. I I don't know if he's tough. I don't know if he's got a pain threshold. I don't know if he's got a work ethic. I don't know if his head's in the right place. I did a lot of things that, you know, you should say about Rob Williams that now you will, Celtics fans, now you'll say them because you traded him. So, yeah, not, right. so, so now you'll hear it. But all those things were on the table with Rob Williams from the start. They were here every step of the way. Now you're just going to acknowledge them. But even with all those faults, when the dude's on the floor and he's right, he changes the way offenses play. Definitely. True difference maker. Yeah, yeah. Again, and he didn't fit as well under Missoula as he did under uh, uh, Udoka. So I wouldn't have given up Rob Williams, but I'm not going to second guess him because I wanted, you know, I, I was mocking them for not having balls. This is ballsy. And they're, you know, they're trying to keep up with the Bucs or go back ahead of the Bucs, and they're trying to win now this year. And the best thing is that they're not falling too in love with their players. I mean, talk about two guys. I'm sorry to cut you off, Miss. No, no, no worries. But talk about the two players that green teamers fell in love with and, like, overinflated what they were. Marcus Smart and Rob Williams. I mean, oh, my head. Turn on NBC Sports Boston at any given moment. The green goo that gets spatulated over that TV screen there for Marcus Smart and Rob Williams. And how green teamers exalted those players. And Brad Stevens, Brad Stevens traded him to make his team better. <laughs> Don't listen to your baby fans or the media that covers your team. Brad Stevens didn't fall in love with these players. And so, like, that's a, that I love that. Like, that's the best part about the whole thing. I happen to buy some of the hype on Rob Williams, though. I think yeah, well, how could legit. you not? Again, he's a legitimate defensive player. But now... Look, what I like, as you said, Smart, Grant Williams, Robert Williams, Brogdon, you got Porzingis and Holiday. Ponies for horses. Effectively, that's what you did. Four ponies for two horses. Now, I don't know if Porzingis is a stallion. We'll see. Like, let's see how he holds up. But skill, as a player, he's better than any of the four guys you gave up. And so is Holiday. So you got the two best players in those six. So that I like. They're, they're starting five right now if they end the game with the five that we think they're going to. You know, even if Horford's in the mix and, and White's out or something, whatever, it'll be one of those two. There's a freaking – they're loaded. They are loaded for bear. I, I just like the Brad Stevens moves are just sort of counter to most of what we hear from you on a daily basis. The bench. I mean, Brad's going to give a rat's ass about his bench. He's got six players, and that's just fine. You only need seven. Maybe eight, maybe, but you need six or seven, and he knows it. So you can call me all you want about Sammy Hauser and this guy and that guy and this guy and that guy. They don't matter, and Brad Stevens just acknowledged it. All the carrying on you did about Marcus Smart, oh, my God. You know who didn't buy it at the end? Brad Stevens. It's like, please, give me a break with this And guy. the coach. And Rob Williams, uh, which coach are you talking about? Uh, coach Missoula. <laughs> I think he wanted Marcus Smart out of here, too. Oh, okay. So either way, the Celtics, credit Missoula or Stevens if you want. And, oh, Time Lord. You know, like, again, you can carry on as much as you want about that guy. Oh, my God, I loved it. Steven, I Stevens is not going to fall too in love with the players like you do. They need it, another big. As soon as it happened yesterday, this was before the Patriots get their doors blown off, I said, thank God for the Celtics. Thank God that they did this. They are freaking loaded.